Someone has asked how to do a smooth transition between real-time motion and or real-time speed to slow motion. I'm going to show you how that works with the time remapping tool that you can be accessed from any clip. This is just a uh, clip of a baseball player hitting a ball with a bat. All right. Now, this was originally recorded at 1,000 frames per second. I've already sped it up by 2,000% to get real time out of it. Okay. So when I add slow motion effect to this now, it's going to give me nice smooth motion because it was recorded at 1,000 frames per second. In order to access time remapping, I just right-click on the FX button, time remapping speed, and I'm going to go to the point where he hits the ball, which is right about there. I think he's already probably already hit it there, but I'm just going to go ahead and right click. I'm sorry, I'm going to control click on the rubber band here, and it gives me um, a keyframe. Now, this keyframe, if I stretch it out, it will give me uh, time remapping. I'm going to slow this down, this down to 1%, and let's see what we already have. I'm just going to move everything down a little bit. I'm going to line this up to, to where it where it slows down where he hits the ball. This just takes some finagling until you get it just right. That's pretty cool. That's good enough for me. There you go. Okay. So that's how it's done.